demonic angel. Today I'm going to talk about some of the dangers of saging. Um, and uh, I just thought this is what we'll do next. <laughs> um, I've, I've had some people ask me about uh, saging and they'll say to me, well I've tried to sage my home um, and it isn't working or the activity has gotten worse. Why is that? Why could that be kind of that kind of thing? Um, first off, a lot of the time, it, what, uh, saging does work. Um, it's just cleansing the energy in a space, a home. Um, and that is getting rid of the old energy. Um, this is really... I really like some of the ideas of feng shui, um, the placement of objects to create the best flows of energy and that stagnant energy lingers in corners of rooms and, and these kinds of ideas. So, uh, I mean, a lot of the time that really does work and it obviously isn't just for the paranormal problems but cleaning out old energy and bringing it in, so, you know, like so that residual energy of whatever you did last week isn't affecting you and making you kind of stuck in that. And you just cleanse that and it makes a huge difference. You should feel less drained in general and, and things like that. Um, so it's great to do. But as far as we're talking about with uh, a, a paranormal problem, of let's say a ghost haunting house, the reason that Okay, first off, the reason it might not work is that if a spirit is not bound to the physical plane, it, it won't affect it. It won't make th that leave. Another kind of issue is your intentions and your underlying emotions when you would do a cleansing. If you're really afraid and you do a cleansing, you sage, um, but you're really afraid inside, or you have anger. Let's say you're one of those. You swear at the spirits and stuff. That's not going. That's not an effective cleansing. Cleansing has to come from this place of higher consciousness. And if that's not included, then the clean, the cleansing, the saging, is not going to be effective. Um, if something is a an astral parasite or a feeder, as I kind of call them, it's not, that is not bound um, to the physical plane. Because saging just gets, it, uh, gets rid of things that are bound in some way to the, the physical plane of existence. But a lot of negative, uh, these parasite entities, they're not bound in such a way. They, many of them were never alive. They're not human. Um, so the things of, uh, of the world, like growing up and having kids or fighting politics and human stuff, they're not human. So they're, none of these, these activities bound, or they're not in that way. They're just parasites. That is what they do. Um, so they're, you know, that's not going to affect them. The saging is not going to affect that. Now, on the, on the last kind of note in this, um, one of the other things I have run into, in fact, a woman I once did a, I taught her, I came to her house, um, and I taught her how to do a saging. Um, kind of going over these ideas. And then she called me later and says, Hey, I used to think my grandfather's protective spirit was here because he died in the home and then she um, inherited the home. So why is he not around me anymore? I don't feel him. Uh, I used to feel him come tuck me in or I'd see his rocking chair move and that's not here. Well, um, I thought, you know, she 
was just trying to get rid of this negative energy that she portrayed. Um, but if I had known about the grandfather, I probably wouldn't have recommend the Seiji. Um, because that, the Seiji, it got rid of him. Because he was bound to the physical plane by, you know, her emotions. Um, his, his blood and attachment to her binding him, you know, to the physical plane. But the cleansing removed him. And the paranormal activity got worse for her. I had to eventually help her find um, some spiritual, it was some kind of uh, Christian group, um, but they were the people who were able to help her um, eventually with this negative attachment. So the now without the protector spirit of the grandfather, the negative energy, the entity, is, is just there and able to do what it wants, which is be a parasite. And, and so that's not bound by the physical plane, had no effect on that. So we go through these other, you know, types of things, like I recommend that um, meditation and other things, like to get started on right away, like eating apple cider, drinking apple cider vinegar, or eating some garlics and um, black elderberry, sambucal, these herbs of grounding and cleansing to start with immediately. And then, you know, getting a medium or psychic or spiritual person in to really read the energy and talk to um, some of the, the spirits there and really get, get what's going on so that we don't get rid of the protector spirits. So that's just, the saging is really more like when um, a person is ready to be strong for themselves and they can, they can understand that, that they may um, get, cut ties with this protector energy and so, so saging. So they have to be ready for that. Now me, <laughs> um, I, when I do uh, saging and cleansing, I'm not doing it with the intention of getting rid of something. Sorry, I had a hair. Um, I, I'm just trying to um, do, do a kind of cleansing of my space. So it's not a, a banishing. It's a cleansing, um, and obviously with the paranormal stuff, most people are doing it as with a banishing in mind. Um, and a lot of my spirit protectors are not bound by the physical plane, so there's there's that. But it was just something I wanted to share. You know, it's you know just getting creative with other ways to look at it, and I still recommend you know, doing saging for cleansing, cleansing your space, but but really kind of to think twice before just jumping to that um, strategy right away when dealing with, um, you know, a, a negative spirit. It, it can, w without those protectors, it can really make the situation a lot harder. And eventually, if we, f you know, you find these other ways to get the negative uh, attachment to move on, the positive protector spirits, they will eventually move on. It's not like right away, they kind of will usually linger to see the loved one, the living loved one doing a little better, and then they move on too. Um, because their purpose is to protect somebody from this parasite. So really, it, 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 think about it like this. if. If a person is saying, hey, you know, I'm seeing, um, you know, my dead relatives, then my one of the questions in my mind is, I wonder what they're trying to warn them about or protect them from. Um, and a lot of times, uh, not always, sometimes they're ju those are just their loved ones, but sometimes, uh, yeah, I, you know, the, these people are here 
for this protection. So looking at it that way, they're trying to warn. Of course, living people who are not psychic, they don't really get it. So anyway, um, I'll talk to you guys later.